Welcome to another is issue of Western Wisconsin Journal, and today we're going to be talking about um, Yellowstone Trail Heritage Days, which is coming up real soon on July 30th and 31st. Um, I'm Jackie Bradham, and I have with me Linda and Paul, and we're going to tell you a little about a little bit about what's happening with Yellowstone Trail. Um, we have several events lined up. Um, Starting with the Military uh, Vehicle Preservation Association uh, coming through Hudson on July. Uh, they are arriving on Friday, hopefully by five o'clock. We're having a parade start, and that parade is a salute to veterans par parade. And we're going to go, uh, I think lineup is at the Faith Community Church, and then yeah. go down, down Vine Street uh, to first, along Lakefront Park and then back up Cooley Road. Mm -hmm. And we sure would love to have people come out and, and see that parade. Mm -hmm. It's a really unique experience. There are 50 plus historic vehicle, military vehicles that have been refurbished and they do the convoys, the association does convoys. Oh, I think every couple of years. Mm -hmm. So this one, they decided on the Yellowstone Trail, and that is why we decided to have Yellowstone Trail Heritage Days this uh, that weekend of July 30th and 31st. Yeah. So we're looking forward to that. That'll be a sight to be seen. So come out and cheer them on. And if you're a veteran, you can even uh, get a ride along in the parade. Or when they depart the following morning at 7 o'clock, you can uh, ride with uh, some of the veterans, can ride with them from Hudson to Knapp. So if you're interested in learning about that, uh, the parade um, and getting a ride, if you're a veteran, uh, go to the uh, Facebook page, which is St. Croix County Yellowstone Trail. You can find info about that, or you can go to the, the Hudson Chamber website at Hudson, Wisconsin. Hudson WI for Wisconsin dot org and there is a page on there if you go to the calendar of events you can find the Yellowstone Trail information so that's a good place to find out about all these activities that are yeah. going to be happening Definitely, so sure. um, that has I think they just updated that so it has a complete schedule of all the activities on that so I'd recommend you go there to find out all the events if you yeah. miss something or, or we didn't list the times or dates. So one of the huge uh, parts of Yellowstone Trail is the annual car shows. Linda, can you tell us some about the car shows? Yeah, we've got a combination of three car shows. Well, actually four <laughs> when you count the military vehicles on Friday night. But we've also got the vintage and classic cars for the Yellowstone Trail car show and we've also got a Model A Ford car show and also the Brit Fest combined. So we've got, there'll be lots and lots of unique vehicles down at Lakefront Park and that will be from 10 a.m. until 1 p.m. on Friday, uh, on Saturday, the 31st of July. And it's free to come and look at all the cars and. I think for the Brit Fest, which is going to be out in front of Dick's Bar, yeah. they're going to let people vote for their favorites. Mm -hmm. So that's a fundraiser. And um, I don't know what it is. You buy a dollar for a ticket and you can yeah. vote for whatever your yeah. mm -hmm. favorite car is. I think, how do they do we judge the, the other car shows? Uh, for the Yellowstone Trail, it's just a group of us that mm -hmm. decide on what cars we have first, second, and third place mm -hmm. prizes. So we just decide but on what cars we think are unique mm -hmm. to. Yeah. Well, that should be fun if you're a car enthusiast. <laughs> you yep. got you got more than an eyeful here. A lot to choose <laughs> yeah. from. Lot to choose sure. from. Yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah. You know, the, I think the military vehicles. I believe that there is one of those that's coming through is from 1819. Wow. So that's a really old vehicle. Mm -hmm. um, I think some of our publications have have shown. Uh, a picture of that coming through, and I think there's a 1945 staff car coming mm -hmm. through. So there's the vintage, the the military vehicles are going to be awesome. But yeah. With the Yellowstone Trail Car Show, we we actually get some Model A's. Yeah. What kind of cars have you seen there, Linda? <laughs> uh, I'm trying to think of what. Um, 
I mean, the big GTOs the and the jitney. Oh, the jitney bus. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah there's a jitney that bus. That really unique. And Model A's, I think. Yeah, show we get up. Model A's, Model T's, and then we get you know a variety of newer cars than that because we like having a lot more cars at the car show. So I think as old as the 19 teens up to the. 40s, 50s, 60s, yeah. 70s. Yeah. <laughs> Some of those muscle cars. And yeah. anything yellow. <laughs> anything yellow. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember the name of the fellow that has the yellow um, pickup truck, but he comes sometimes. Yeah. And it's nice to see his. You get those bright yellow cars there, they really stand out. Yep, that's <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. So the car show will be just amazing. So we hope everybody can come down and, and enjoy that. Um, let me see, we have some of the other events we have going on is Friday morning from, or I'm sorry, Saturday morning on July 31st, we have pancake breakfast at St. Pat's Church. That's gonna be a fundraiser for the church youth group, I believe, and that's from 7 a.m., bright and early, <laughs> not a morning person, <laughs> to, to 10.30. I might be able to make that 10.30. <laughs> and then we have uh, geocaching on the trail, and that's there's a meet and greet down at Dick's Bar. Um, that's at 9 o'clock. And some of the other ones, we have um, the car shows, of course, and um, there's a uh, EV experience out at St. Croix Electric Co-op out in Hammond. So when you're on that trail, um, the Yellowstone Trail out there exploring it, uh, one of the things is you can stop in at the um, EV experience, um, EV for electric vehicles. <laughs> um, and that's from 10 to 4. And you can learn about the new electric vehicles and some smart electric options. And I believe you'll be able to test drive some of those cars. So yeah. that should be interesting. That'll be fun. So we're going, um, it's kind of interesting because I believe electric vehicles were actually invented way back in the 1800s. Mm -hmm. So um, I, they never caught on <laughs> until now. <laughs> but uh, it, it's really interesting. And one of the new things we have this year is the hospital. Hospitality Center and Paul can you tell us a little bit about the yeah. Hudson Hospitality yeah, Center? Yeah, I definitely can do that. Uh, the Living Vine Church uh, right on the corner of 3rd and Vine Street is ho hosting a hospitality center and uh, we realized that especially with the heat waves we've had that it'd be a great place for people to kind of cool down and uh, gather their wits a little bit and uh, stop sweating. Uh, we're gonna offer people free water and we have ICs for the kids, you know, so that's all free. Uh, in the church, we're actually going to be uh, hosting a couple of uh, organ concerts on the uh, Jardine organ. There's only three of those left in the world. And uh, my wife, who I roped in to do uh, the organ concert, <laughs> will be giving two uh, concerts on there. Uh, the church itself is the oldest meeting place in Hudson. Mm -hmm. So it's been around for quite some time or so. It was like 18 1866. Yep. And uh, so uh, that organ came in just a few years after that. Yeah. Yeah. And um, so we'll have that. We'll also be displaying the uh, video of the history of the Yellowstone Trail. And uh, we've got that on an hourly basis. So uh, we'll have that inside so people can, as they relax, they can enjoy an uh, organ concert, watch the video. Uh, we will also be providing restrooms, which are really needed. Uh, <laughs> those are open, they're free, we're not charging for that. Uh, but, uh, you know, it'll be a great place for parents to bring their kids, you know, and uh, relax that way. Um, outside, uh, we're going to be setting up our courtyard. Uh, with a stage. We'll have four musical groups wow. that will be uh, performing uh, various times during the day from 10 o'clock to 4 o'clock. The hospitality center is open at that time. Uh, we also have a food truck. We might have two, but we have one that's going to be providing uh, ice cream uh, type yes. uh, products <laughs> or so, which would be needed, you know, for, yep. for that. Uh, we'll have areas outside that will have canopies so people can get out of the sun and into mm -hmm. the shade, or if it's raining, they can get out of the rain. Uh, and they can watch the performances of the different uh, musical groups there. They can also just sit and relax, you know, so it's a kind of a, a good center location for people uh, to get out of the construction zones um, <laughs> and uh, into an area that uh, you can just kind of relax. We're, we're really excited, uh, our church is, because it's a way of reaching out into the community and providing, you know, well-needed, you know, spot mm -hmm. to uh, kind of cool your 
your heels a little bit or whatever. <laughs> yep. And you're actually on the Yellowstone Trail. We yeah. are on the Yellowstone Trail. It mm -hmm. Actually, I think it splits right there. Yeah. It mm -hmm. goes uh, either down Vine Street or down Third Street. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, you'll know where we're at because the church has a huge steeple and we'll have a big yellow rock out front too, so you'll, <laughs> you can't miss it. So I think uh, it'll be a good way to, uh, to be part of the celebration mm -hmm. itself mm -hmm. and a way to, for us to kind of uh, let the neighborhood know and the community know that Living Vine Church is alive and well and we're, you know, we want to be a, a partner in, mm -hmm. uh, in the Yellowstone Trail celebration. Awesome. Great, awesome, it, sh it should be fun and that's located at uh, the corner of Vine and Third Street. Right. So if that detour, construction detour takes you right there. You, you, you can't right miss it, you, you can't, can't miss it. it. And one, and one of the things I was gonna <laughs> add and I forgot is that for the kids, we got two really kind of cool opportunities. First the opportunity is bell ringing. They'll have oh. a chance to oh. ring oh, the goodness. church bell for <laughs> a buck. And, uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's really kind of fun. There's a little history behind that because it was kids uh, back in the 1860s that helped put the bell into the belfry. Yeah. There wasn't oh. enough people to do it. And so when school let out, the w construction workers got a hold of the kids and they said, we're going to take this rope and you're going to go down Third Street and pull the, pull the <laughs> get the bell yeah. in the belfry. The other thing is that we will have an area on the other side of the parsonage that will be uh, set up for kids games, a little oh, cornhole fun. toss, oh, you know, cool. things like that. So, you know, parents can kind of cool cool down and the kids can, you know, go, <laughs> go ahead and play for a while. Yeah. So it'll be kind of a nice little activity area, I think, yeah. you know, for everybody. Yeah. Know. Yeah, and that intersection that you mentioned earlier is where the Yellowstone Trail went two different directions. Mm -hmm. When it first came through Hudson, the, the Hudson Toll Bridge made it possible for it to come through Hudson, and that was a, a logical place for it to come across the river. Mm -hmm. And um, it used to go up Walnut Street to 3rd and then out St. Croix Street. So that was the original route. And then over the years, it, it was, it, I think it came to Hudson, and the bridge was built in 1913, so mm -hmm. I think it was actually 1915 though before the trail actually made it through the Twin Cities sure. and into Hudson and that was the early trail and then around 1918 1919 they changed the route so when you came up you would head out Vine Street mm -hmm. instead of and part of that has to do with later on down the trail um, adjustments that they made to the different roads but if you go out on Highway 12 out of Hudson, I think past Kinney Road, you kind of go up a hill and up on the top of one of those hills, it, the, the street name is actually Yellowstone Oh, yeah, Trail. yeah, yeah, yeah Yellow, that is, yeah. There's a street named yeah, after Yellowstone Trail. Yeah, it kind Yellowstone of veers off a little bit. So the Yellowstone Trail, before then, Highway 12 used to kind of go out and about, and it wasn't a straight shot. And sure. I know through Hammond and Roberts, th there were some changes in right. it. and. It goes through, it kind of zigzags through Baldwin, downtown Baldwin. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah there's some, in, it, it's very interesting mm -hmm. to find out where those different trails well, are. Well, I used to drive that all the time as a, mm -hmm. the postmaster at Napa, Wisconsin. <laughs> okay. Highway 12 was just a, kind of the perfect route for me. So I got used to that very, very well. Yeah. I, know, I know the hills and the valleys and, and where the speed traps are too. <laughs> and, what a, and what a pretty place to drive. It's very yes. beautiful down there. It is. Yes. Um, so other events we have going on, oh, we, I should mention also that we have another hospitality center. So if you're in Hudson and you're at the car show, fine. But if the other thing that we are encouraging people is to do is get out and drive that trail. Mm -hmm. And we have a poker run and sociability drive. And on that poker run sociability drive, um, we have an insert going in the Hudson Star Observer and it shows a map um, of uh, I'm sorry, it's not the Hudson Star Observer, it's the Star, Star Observer. Observer. <laughs> <laughs> we have a old habits die. <laughs> we have a map in that, that um, insert, and it's a six page section all about Yellowstone Trail. It gives a lot of the history of the Yellowstone Trail. And um, it also has a map of all the different activities and a schedule mm -hmm. and where you can um, where you can stop at, on, on the poker run. And the poker run, basically, you get a scorecard. You can either get them down at the info booth or any of the poker run uh, locations. And you take that to all the different locations and you get a stamp, get it stamped and then you come to the party at the, the Sidetrack Saloon yeah. 
four o'clock in Mats and Roberts and you get a card for each one of those stamps mm -hmm. you collected and I believe there are eight stops so you can collect up to eight cards but you only get to use five of them. Yep. You make a poker <laughs> hand, you pick, you pick your best poker hand and then we have a, a hundred dollar cash prize for the person who has the best um, poker run hand or poker hand. Yeah. So that's kind of a fun, just a fun game way to enjoy the trail. And one of those poker run stops out there is a new um, place and that is the, out in Baldwin we have the 22 Farms Anal Animal Sanctuary. So they're a poker run stop but they're also an animal sanctuary so you can get out there and take the kids to see all the animals on yeah, the farm. Nice. That'd be fun. And they also have, will have a family activities out there and restroom facilities if you need them. Cool. So we've got some history displays at the, um, the Roberts Library and at the Hammond Library. So those are another one, another places for poker run stops yeah. and stop in and they'll have history displays. And another activity we have is the Octagon House Museum uh, has tour, mini tours and an ice cream social fundraiser. We will also be having some vehicles out there. So if you ever wanted to ride in, um, you know, some of these unique vehicles will be um, turning up. I believe people from the Model A Club will be yeah. at the Octagon House. Yep. And uh, so you can get, a, get, get to ride some of those old and vehicles. That's fun. That's, you know, that's fun. Hopping in one of those old vehicles mm -hmm. and riding along. I think we have a, a history speaker down at Lakefront Park at 11 and, and noon. So we're talking about the Yellowstone Trail and local history. I don't think I missed anything here. So we got we got all of our events in there. I think we have a, a post event. We usually sometimes would have pre-events, but um, one of the post events uh, for this year is going to be a canvas party with Audrey Martin, and she um, you can we're actually painting a picture of the of church. church right? Yeah, that we're should be nice. Have the courtyard opened up so that people can come and and paint away. It's I think yep. it's forty five dollars or something. Yeah, like forty five dollars is from six to nine on yeah. August fourth. And the sweet thing about it is that she's got it all set for you to go. Oh I mean, yeah. It's she's all traced <laughs> out. She has yeah. the brushes, the paints all ready yeah. to go. It's, it's yeah. and they're fun yeah. classes. Yeah. Really you've, fun. You've done a few of yeah, them. Yeah, quite a few. few. <laughs> it's not quite like paint by numbers, no. but or Bob Ross, you know, let's <laughs> put a nice little tree over here and living it. But yeah, she's got a great uh, she does a methodology for that. Yeah. So it'll be cool. So, yeah, uh, keep your eye out for the Star Observer insert on July 22nd in the, um, that's got a lot of information and a complete schedule, or if you're interested, you can go online to Facebook if you follow Facebook, um, St. Croix County S Yellowstone Trail is what you need to look for on Facebook, mm -hmm. and the other option would be to go to the Hudson Chamber website look for the events on the calendar and you'll find us there and their uh, website is hudsonwi.org so that's about it for Yellowstone Trail Heritage Days July 30th and 31st coming up soon yeah. so thank yeah. you Paul, Linda and well, um, thank you for watching. Thank you.